Hi, I'm Jeet from Espresso Tech Sales and Service. Today we're going to do a video featuring the Rocket Johto Evolution V2. And we're just going to steam some milk, make a latte, pull a shot, the whole shebang, uh, and just show you kind of how it works. So we already have it fired up over here. Again, it's the Evo V2. So it's got the rotary pump in there. Right now we have it running on tank. Uh, so I have my shot prepped up, I have my milk right there. So I'm going to go ahead and first steam my milk, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull the shot. So first things first, on all the rockets, if it's been sitting there, even if you just steamed, it's always good practice to just purge the first few seconds. Just crank it open. And what that does is it removes any of the condensation in the line. You don't want that water going in your milk and watering it down. So I have my uh, frothing picture just set right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start frothing. Just slowly open the valve. good so I'm just going to close her off right here and then because of the anti-burn uh, it doesn't really cake on a lot of milk the tip will get hot but it's always nice to wipe it down with a nice wet rag and then do a final purge just to make sure that it's fully cleaned out so if we look over here the boiler pressure is just kind of cheeked back its way back up to one so I can go ahead and start to pull the shot so I already have it prepped up here to save the noise of the grinder so with the rockets, it's kind of a dual action with a lever. You can lift it up halfway, and it'll do a soft infusion, and then when you lift it up the full way, that's when it'll start activating the pump, and you'll notice the pressure hopefully get up to the green zone. You want that pressure gauge, which is on the right-hand side for brew pressure, to hit about nine bar. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a quick little soft infusion for a few seconds, and then lift up to activate the pump. Just like that, the pressure slowly ramps up, and I'm hitting about, I'd say about nine, actually right, right on the money. Yeah. Now with all the rockets, they all are manual dosing, so you would have to stop the shot once you notice the blonding, or if you're doing a shot class or so. By eyeballing it, I kind of know that's roughly the right amount for the double shot that I just pulled, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And when I lift the lever, you'll notice that uh, right behind uh, the 3 way valve, or the manual 3 way valve, will dump the excess pressure into the drip tray. And that's normal, that's always going to happen after every shot. I'm just going to move the handle out of the way, just like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, hopefully, I can do a little bit better latte art than the Breville. But it up. It's just not my day for latte art, I'd say. But that being said, besides my horrible pour, the machine proved flawlessly. It's really easy to use. Uh, the benefit is that there's really no delay between brewing and steaming or vice versa. If you do steam a lot of milk, you might need to give it, you know. 30 seconds to recover back up to one bar and if you want to be extremely precise doing a good little group head flush like running a few seconds of water will help bring that group head temperature back down to proper brewing temperature so thanks for checking out our video don't forget to like and subscribe and as always stay tuned for the next one